Hello, brothers and sisters, and today we're going to take a shabby sneak peek over at Zombie Cure Lab. The demo came out, and I wanted to see how well this game plays. This is a game about a, like, colony simulation management game that's, like, reminiscent of, like, your two-point hospital. Uh, even the play style and the aesthetics kind of remind me of the two-point series, so I'm interested to see how this goes to see if it's kind of like a direct kind of clone or if it has its own spin but what we're kind of planning on doing here is curing zombies that are attacking our base not killing them and then we can use them for like resource gathering we can see here we have a a little bit of a road map so i did put some music on in the background because it says here in august is when they plan to add sound and music there's a little bit of sound but not a lot so i figured we'd have something in the background at least but they talk about resource trading in june expanded tech tree oh it's it's already loaded here so and the tutorial's not the greatest so what we see here in the upper left is we're play, planning the landing zone here's our map i'm assuming this is like our like i don't know if it's going to become like a main road in or out there's one over here i don't know if it's good to be near those or to be far from those so why don't we build over here we it looks like i have some resources here i don't know what they do obviously but this will be the landing zone right there so welcome to welcome expedition leader thank you for leading the construction of this new lab moose labs needs the zombies in this valley cured so we can proceed with our world caring plan i'm hopeful that you'll lead our first successful stand against the indestructible zombies but no worry the smartest minds in the world will help you build your lab so uh the new objective place the main storage which looks like it's this that's in my hand already uh, build close to important resources, uh, glowberry bushes, vegetable patches, and plenty of trees to ensure a smooth start. Uh, needs to be placed close to the landing zone. Assigned workers can build and repair objects using crafting stations. Global resource storage, and if it gets destroyed by the zombies, you lose the game. Okay. So instead, put it like near some stuff. This seems to be too far. But honestly, this is maybe pretty decent right over here. Like... Can I get it right here? How far from here can I go? Like right here, how about? Right there. I like it facing this way, I think. All right, let your scientists take in a breath of fresh zombie-free Canadian air before the zombies know you are there. I am confident you'll be ready by then. Our scientists are trained in manual labor and do fairly decent job in cutting down trees. Wait for the hella to arrive, build a resource camp. I don't see it in the background this time. Uh, click the build menu button in the bottom left production resource camp and place the blueprint and wait for the workers to uh, build it So we've got the building. Can I press B cannot press B. Okay UI is a little uh, rudimentary So let's go to production and what was it, it was resource camp, right? So required to gather lumber veggies and even scavenge car wrecks for metal and other resources workers assigned can gather marked resources starts with three pre-assigned workers okay so how about i uh drop this kind of like it like this that looks pretty decent kind of like near the landing pad like it's our first little camp after we've landed down look at our little idiots here though they look funny it's like a nice comical look to them i really enjoy that that's why it kind of reminds me of 2.2 like the two point series. So mark resources for harvesting and res with the resource camp, build a hauling post to support your resource collection. Uh, select it, select harvest tool, drag area over resources, click resource icons to disable, okay. Uh, build the hauling and assigned workers, okay. So can I just like, oop, little laggy there. What was that? Um, repair, working, delete danger heat maps it doesn't seem like i just have like a button over here there's also no options and you can't save the game so whatever we do today will just be it for our first look all right so maybe i do have to click the resource camp little goofy like I really shouldn't have to click a camp to then be like go harvest things uh, but unless it's like very specific but it's i don't know Seems, seems goofy. How about those? I'll get these two trees out of here. Clean up these items, that item, that tree, and these trees. And might as well grab all this. What about this? Okay. I think that's decent. 
All right, that's a decent start there. So let's build our hauling thingy, hauling post. Let's see, which way? Put it right next to this guy. So we got the storage here. It's kind of funny how like it shows that far out. All right, all's going well. No work-related injuries yet. Things can be a bit stressful for the scientists when they expect unending hordes of zombies coming out of coming out of the tunnels every night. Okay, so you better keep everyone well rested and comfortable. Build a bedroom and kitchen. Six by six is a good starting size for each room. Hauling jobs, refill machines, take out produced goods, and pick up resources on the floor. Your workers' needs will increase over time. Unfulfilled needs will reduce mood. Okay. So why don't we go general? Was it? Corridors, doors, kitchen, bedroom. It's its own category. Very well. All right, let's build a bedroom then. How about over here? Oh, there's stuff in the way. Nope, cancel that. This'll do right here. I'll build a bedroom here. I'll build a seven by seven for apparently 160 wood, but we've got plenty of wood. Look at this guy. Breaking down this fridge. Is that blood? Oh, no. There's like cogs and shit coming out of there. All right. Pretty cool. All right. And then I'll put a door in. I'm thinking on this side here, kind of facing. I'll do a double door, though, so people can get in and out either way. So long sleep time. So we'll do some beds. Two, three... Three. Like that, I think, will be good. And then... Uh, let's get some couches. But we'll just put these on the back wall here. Like that. Alright, I think that'll be decent enough for now, at least. I want to move the doors, actually, to here. And there. Did it not let... Yeah, it did let me. Okay. And then can I just put a wall here instead? Like this. I don't know if that works, but that way to get rid of that door, that way the door is kind of like a straight line through the bottom of the, of the door, of the, uh, the beds there. So it's looking a little better at least. All right. So that's decent. So now we need to build a kitchen and a dining table. We'll attach those here. We haven't gotten everything out of it yet, so maybe I'll make it a little smaller. So I got the kitchen. Complete that. Beautiful. And then I'll wait to put the door down. Um, a dining table, sturdy table to eat yummy food on. Eating at a table replenishes mood and comfort. Regenerate hunger when workers bring their food to eat here. Better food keeps them full for longer. Okay. Oh, these are pretty big. So I'll put two tables in like that. And then I'll put a door here as well. Okay. That's pretty good. Can we speed up time? Yes, we can use the standard one, two, three to speed up time. Fantastic. I honestly get a little uh, perturbed. No, annoyed. When like one, two, three doesn't like change the speeds or spaces and pause. It's just like the standard for these like colony type games. So it's really goofy when people kind of go against that status quo. And only if it's not good, obviously, but is it ever? I can't, I'm trying to think of one that's like a little different, I'm, but I can't because I probably didn't play it for long, honestly. Ooh, these are some good stuff over here too. So build a kitchen. So we're just waiting for this to finish now. Build a bed and bedroom and wooden beds. I didn't even realize I needed to build six, honestly. That's just what I fit in there. That's a good coincidence, I suppose. We have all these extra people. Maybe I should be set, maybe I should set up more resources to be gathering here. So like I want to clean up this over here, because all those look pretty good. And then I want to clean up these trees. Oh, there we go. Great. You actually build some sort of lab. Since it looks so nice, we should keep it safe. They spelled safe wrong. With a fence and maybe some snowball dispensers as well. Surround the lab with fences. Uh, tip, gates attract zombies. Use them to create choke points in your defense, okay? Uh, needs constantly go down. Workers get hungry. Depleted mood start to drain. Allow 
A low mood makes them sad. Sad scientists are reluctant to work. Okay. So we'll clean up this here so then I can build a fence. Maybe I'll do something like this. I don't know if we need to encase the whole thing, but it said to just do the lab for now. So it was this, right? The storage center. Wall off your headquarter. Well, it's probably the whole thing. So why don't we go to build? General, that's a corridor, electricity. Oh, defense right here. So if I did like, let me turn a little bit. There we go. So if I took this rock as like a natural defense for the back here, like this, went out like this to this rock. Okay. And then take this rock and I'll do this need a lot of wood for this this plan here I might be doing too much honestly but you know what I'd rather just do a little too much than not enough and it's just a demo so why not right all the way across there okay and then we can kind of set up a choke point so if they like gates I'm not sure exactly how to do it but for now for the test I'll put a gate here right so like if they like gates and I do something like this per se then I go like gate 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 wasn't letting me because of the tree I guess I'll offset it just so it's there. <clears throat> then where are these snowball machines? Power pole. I feel like we're about to be attacked right now. Maybe I need to wall it off first before it tells me to do anything more here. Get this speeds maxed out right now. Trying to keep my eyes out. I don't know if zombies are, you know, not going to spawn in while you're in the tutorial. Which, if that's the case, you could potentially use that to your advantage. Right, everybody is working now, though. We don't have any lazy people sitting around. Container storage. This is other storage. Day shift. So you can... You can set, it looks like you can set people up on certain shifts. So that's interesting. We'll have to keep an eye on that, of course. Uh, anxious to see these uh, zombies here. Do people just like sleep on their own. I've got 15 people. Humans are couch potatoes. Therefore, they are not necessarily the strongest words, but they have the brightest ideas. We've stolen a lot of ideas from animals, but okay. Hauling post. That's just like one piece, I guess. I was trying to see if like... I could set like building the walls as the highest priority so I could like speed that up, but it doesn't seem I can like set them exactly like that. The research board. Ugh, I am always so excited about research trees. Oh, there it is. Whew. I was going to say, like, that wasn't looking exciting. This looks better. It's not as exciting, but I do I do think this is fine, obviously. Veggie planter, furnace, bellows, snowball dispenser. So it's going to teach us how to research things later, it seems. we got a giant wall here, so I don't even know how likely it is for this to be finished, but we'll see. I'll even cheat it a bit. Well, not cheat it, but why don't we build 
There's another wall kind of right down the middle here too. Put a gate here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let this kind of speed up here. I don't know like how long this is gonna take obviously and I can't progress until I wall off my headquarters and I wanted to get a fairly big area just to kind of test the waters here so let's speed this up oh baby it's done and you can see we're halfway through day three we've had time sped up so now we need to build the science room and generate research points and select the research tables and manually assign workers with points you can unlock new objectives uh, in the lower left corner, you can see the time of day. As uh, zombie head indicates, if zombies are aware of your v lab, a value lower than one means that no zombies will bother you this night. Pretty sure I had a value over one the other night, and they did, still didn't bother me, but... You know, that's... I guess that's neither here nor there. Let's build a research lab, then. Science room. I'll build it, uh... I don't know. Up here. Why don't I attach it here? Science lab. Okay. I will also put a door here. And here, just so they can pass through. And I'll get some research tables. There's four research tables. And it said I needed to manually assign people. Okay, workers assigned. And now we play the waiting game again. Just as with most colony building type things. The benefit is they've given us a lot of people. But I think what they're going to end up doing is... Uh, I think they're probably building order... It's hard to tell. It's like in order, but randomly, because obviously, like the gates built, and then like some things are built in the middle here. Even though we definitely ran it all the way across, so I don't know if they use like the center point and build out or what the logic behind it is. But maybe we'll figure it out eventually. And it looks like they take quite a while to get resources down. I mean, these trees have like three hundred wood in them a piece, which is nice. Uh, there's wood in that too, so. There's all, there's all sorts of things, like wood there. That's the tunnel. I'm, I'm curious to see if they come and just head to the walls, or if they're going to walk all the way to the gates. So if they walk all the way to the gates, like regardless of their locality to our walls, that means you could set up some really funky base designs. Like Because I've got the space here, like I could set up a pathing this way, send them through here. This way I could bring them all the way back down here to go around the outsides again loop them back around this way and build like a whole labyrinth in the back here. And then, you know, it becomes a tower defense at that point, right? It just kind of depends how it all works. That's where all the testing has to come into play and just to figure it all out. Oh, night has fallen completely. And look, we got two zombies over here. We got uh, Gabriella Dwayne. And Charlie Eustace. And look, he's... They're kind of lost. There's two more over there. Three more down here. Look, they're at the gate. So they're definitely attracted to the gates. It looks like entirely. So you can really... Uh, you can even have, like, your base almost entirely separate. Now, the question is, how do we fight these? Because we obviously haven't built our thing yet. It took us quite a few days... I'm guessing maybe night four is when they first attack. And obviously just because it took so long for us to build this wall, they're here. And we're not prepared. How's this doing, though? Oh, wow. They're not doing a lot of damage to that. I mean, they're doing damage, but it's not a lot. I wonder how what happens with the zombies in the morning. All right. It looks like we survived the night. Uh, well, you can see they're still going over here, but scientific progress is being made. I'm very happy to see the lab prosper with some defenses you might keep. You might keep it that way, eh? 
So build a bellow breezer, produce gel packs, build a snowball dispenser, and build power poles to supply them. Workers are assigned to snowball dispensers for night shifts by default. Okay. So we need to build a bellow breezer and a snowball dispenser. So look, they they all disappeared. I wasn't looking. Um, I'm not sure if they just kind of like vanished or what, but you can see over the night they didn't even deal half the damage to it. So that, that wasn't bad at all. But obviously these are the weakest zombies in the game. So <coughs> Ooh, bless me. All right. So I'm going to need... Best given to car wrecks. Your scientists invent this simple storage unit. Oh, these have power here. Okay. So we got to build them out. So like if I did that. And then I did something like this, for instance. That's a bit better. Than that. Okay. So there's some power poles. So let's get the bellow breezer. So let's go to defense. We don't have it yet. We need to research it, I'm thinking. It didn't really tell us that, but that's fine. Bellow breezer. Produces gel packs. Do I have like a like a minimum thing here? I don't know. Oh, cost 50. Okay, I just saw it there. We've almost got 50. So then with people working here, this obviously goes up like we can see. And now I can do a snowball dispenser. So let's go back to production and let's get our gel pack thing. Here we go. So a slow and crude method to freeze water, but your first means. Um, I'm going to put it. I think right here. I just realized I paused Spotify. There we go. That way we have something to listen to in this game because there's no music just yet. It's on the roadmap. It's on the roadmap. We can repair this too. All right, uh, repair. Got to hit it over here. Repair. Repair. I don't know if that worked or not. Maybe that's not in there yet, but, you know. All right, add one of these in. Six minutes to produce 20. Is that like six real minutes or what? So we have that, and then I need to build the actual s snowball dispenser. So it shoots snowballs at zombies directly. Good to freeze a few zombies each night. Consumes gel packs per shot. Only good against a few unequipped zombies. Produces frozen zombies. Uh, okay. Oh, look at that range. So, like, something like this could actually... Oh, damn, the wall's a little bit too big. Damn. It's all right. Hold on. Let's do a delete. Delete one object. Delete one object. Oh, it did get repaired. Okay. Come back here. Build. Can I fit this in here now? Not quite still. Let's just delete this entire next row here. Delete those. Someone producing gel packs. These guys are just standing around. How come no one's... Oh, no, no, don't delete that. How come no one's over here producing gel packs? Let's uh, prioritize. See if that works. All right, let's build a snowball dispenser. Right there.
Looks good. We're getting closer to your first Humby. <laughs> We're really lucky to just feed the zombies those weird glowing berries. Turns out they might be the key to reverse the zombification, eh? Build the treatment chamber, freeze the zombie, select the treatment chamber, and order new treatments manually. You'll need frozen zombies. Okay. So let's see. Um, room layouts. Production. Snow cannon, meat grower. Oh, treatment chambers right here. Unlock that. And then we'll build it. Science room. Oh, it just goes in the science room here. All right. Why don't I do this then? Why don't I get rid of these two? I'll delete those out. Build a treatment chamber. Right there. There we go. Someone is working on this now. Excellent. Make sure that's prioritized. I do want to be increasing our gel packs. So select the snowball, press the... Oh, wait. Uh, treatment chamber is ready. Connect it to the power grid and give it... In treatment order after I've frozen some zombies. Okay. So let's add some power. I think that's close. Oh, they can't reach that. Um, move. Zombies are back. Look at them all. They're looking fantastic. Does this have... Are they saying they can't reach? What does this mean? It has no wood. Maybe they can't reach the thing to get over there because it's so tight here. Oh, and maybe those... Oh, they're trapped. Oh, they're trapped. They're in trouble. Do a quick move here. Move that there. I'm just gonna... Man, you know what? I need to just make this room bigger. Yep. Make that bigger. And then I'll put that in there. You know what, for now, just delete this so these guys don't starve to death. I don't know if they can starve to death, but... That's pretty funny though, how they were trapped in there like that. <laughs> I find that quite humorous. All right, let's grab these. I'm gonna move you guys over here. Now I'll build the thing. Are these guys frozen? What are you doing out there, bud? Oh, it's not on the power grid. How does the power grid work? Do I need to like... Oh, it's like just outside now that I moved it. Put that there. That's unfortunate. We'll have to uh, do that tonight. All right, we're back in it now. We've got everything ready. We're back on the power grid. Had to fix this up a little bit. You know, we're bases in high alert. We're being attacked. Look at all these lovely zombies. I don't know where they're going. Oh my God, did I have a... Was one of my guys out there? Did I lose somebody? I did. I had 15. Someone must have been outside the base. I kind of wish I could set a, uh, like a curfew to be like, get your asses back in the base by, you know, this time before dark. But let's see how this works. We've got our girl on here. She's shooting the crap out of Izzy Tyler here. Stay in the, in the place. What is this psychopath doing? 
I want to set like another gate, but I don't want like wh why are they doing this? I honestly uh, have no idea why they're trying to leave. Maybe I could do um, so we can see like that one's completely frozen. Now that's pretty cool. But while while this is going, why don't we see the assignment overview here? And let's say resource camp, right? Resource camp, um, this thing. How do I, no night shift. See if that stops them from trying to go out there. They're hungry. We have plenty of food in the base. I'm not sure what their problem is. No night shift on the hauling post. Um, I'll set just a couple workers for night there, but all right, let's slow down the time. Oh, we need to build a meat grower, a feeding pile and that stuff too. So, okay. Just add some characters in here. Let's speed this up and see what happens when we add these zombies in. But yeah, brothers and sisters, as usual, make sure you let me know what you think about this game so far down below in the comments. That lets me know how much you like in these things as well as hitting that like button really lets me know as well with how much you enjoy this content to see if we want to be able to do something later on down the line with it. And otherwise, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well so you do get back here for that sweet shabby content. All right, what is uh, what, what's the issue here? Picking up resources that are laying on the ground and bringing them to a storage machine, harvesting. All right. I want to make this a priority because I want to see how this works. Do I have to like tell this to gather? Oh, I did it backwards. I wanted this to not be nighttime. These can do nighttime activities. So harvest. These are melting really quickly. I'm uh, not sure why they're not grabbing them. And maybe it's because it's not the plan here. All right, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just not the plan. You know, it said to build the thing and I built the thing. So these guys are slowly healing. Like one of them melted and he's he's dead now, obviously. Let me unprioritize this. It just doesn't seem like anyone is coming in here to do this right now. Plenty of room to get in there. All right. I think I'm going to wrap this up here. I've seen enough for now. It's a pretty interesting game. I like the concept behind it. And I'm excited to see more of what's to come for this after the beta. I don't want to get like too involved because obviously you can't save in the game right now. So I don't want to sit here and play for like five hours straight on just a demo for something that's still missing a lot of content. So it's something we'll follow and bring out to the channel more if it's something you all want to see so if you do you got to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you do get back here for those next episodes but all right brothers and sisters as usual this has been shabby do and if the rest of your day is not too shabby